CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research, has long been at the forefront of scientific discovery, pushing the boundaries of our understanding of the universe. Home to the world's most powerful particle accelerator, the Large Hadron Collider, LHC, CERN has been instrumental in some of the most groundbreaking discoveries in physics, including the confirmation of the Higgs boson in 2012. Recently, CERN has once again captured the attention of the scientific community and the public alike with a series of unexpected discoveries that could potentially reshape our understanding of the fundamental laws of physics. In a recent presentation, renowned physicist and science communicator Professor Brian Cox discussed these latest findings, shedding light on their implications and what they could mean for the future of physics. Cox, known for his ability to make complex scientific concepts accessible to a broad audience, provided a detailed overview of the experiments conducted at CERN, the data collected, and the potential implications of these discoveries. This article delves into the details of Cox's presentation, exploring the latest findings from CERN, the experiments that led to them, and their potential impact on our understanding of the universe. The Large Hadron Collider, a brief overview. Before diving into the latest discoveries, it is essential to understand the tool that makes these discoveries possible, the Large Hadron Collider, LHC. The LHC is the world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator, located in a 27-kilometer circular tunnel beneath the Franco-Swiss border near Geneva. It was designed to collide particles at extremely high energies, allowing physicists to probe the fundamental structure of matter and the forces that govern the universe. The LHC operates by accelerating two beams of particles, typically protons, in opposite directions around the circular tunnel. These beams are then brought into collision at four points around the ring, where massive detectors are positioned to capture the resulting particles and energy from the collisions. The four main detectors at the LHC are ATLAS, CMS, ALICE, and LHCB, each designed to study different aspects of particle physics. Since its first operational run in 2008, the LHC has been instrumental in numerous discoveries, including the aforementioned Higgs boson. The Higgs boson, often referred to as the God particle, is a fundamental particle that gives mass to other particles. Its discovery was a monumental achievement, confirming the standard model of particle physics, which describes the fundamental particles and forces that make up the universe. However, the standard model is not without its limitations. It does not account for dark matter, dark energy, or the unification of the fundamental forces, among other things. As a result, physicists have been eagerly searching for evidence of new physics beyond the standard model, and the latest discoveries from CERN may provide crucial clues in this quest. The latest discoveries, what has CERN found? In his presentation, Brian Cox highlighted several key findings from recent experiments at CERN. These discoveries, while still in the early stages of analysis, have the potential to challenge our current understanding of physics and open up new avenues of research. Below, we explore some of the most significant findings discussed by Cox. 1. Anomalies in Lepton Universality One of the most intriguing discoveries discussed by Cox is the observation of anomalies in lepton universality. Leptons are a class of elementary particles that include electrons, muons, and taus. According to the standard model, the interactions of these particles should be universal, meaning that the forces acting on them should be the same, regardless of their type. However, recent experiments at the LHCB detector have observed deviations from this universality, particularly in the decay of B mesons. B mesons are particles that contain a bottom quark, and their decays can produce leptons. The LHCB experiment has found that the decay rates of B mesons into muons and electrons are not consistent with the predictions of the standard model. Specifically, the decay rates into muons appear to be lower than expected, while the decay rates into electrons are higher. This discrepancy suggests that there may be new forces or particles at play that are not accounted for in the standard model. Cox explained that these anomalies could be evidence of a new fundamental force or a new particle that interacts differently with muons and electrons. If confirmed, this would be a significant breakthrough, as it would be the first direct evidence of physics beyond the standard model. However, Cox cautioned that more data is needed to confirm these findings and rule out any potential experimental errors. 2. The X-17 particle and the fifth force. Another exciting discovery discussed by Cox is the potential observation of a new particle, dubbed X-17, which could be evidence of a fifth fundamental force. The four known fundamental forces are gravity, electromagnetism, the weak nuclear force, and the strong nuclear force. The existence of a fifth force has long been speculated, but until now, there has been no concrete evidence to support this idea. The X-17 particle was first proposed by a team of Hungarian researchers in 2016, based on anomalies observed in the decay of beryllium-8 atoms. 
The researchers suggested that these anomalies could be explained by the existence of a new, lightweight particle with a mass of around 17 MeV slash C superscript 2, hence the name X17. Recently, the same team reported similar anomalies in the decay of helium, for atoms, further supporting the existence of this particle. CERN has been investigating the X-17 particle as part of its search for new physics. While the results are still preliminary, Cox noted that the potential discovery of a fifth force would be a game-changer for physics. It could provide new insights into the nature of dark matter, the unification of forces, and even the early universe. However, as with the lepton universality anomalies, Cox emphasized the need for further experimentation and verification before any definitive conclusions can be drawn. 3. The muon G2 anomaly. The muon G2, pronounced G-2, experiment is another area where CERN has made significant strides. The muon is a heavier cousin of the electron, and the G2 experiment measures the magnetic moment of the muon, which is a property that describes how the muon interacts with magnetic fields. According to the standard model, the magnetic moment of the muon can be predicted with high precision. However, recent experiments at CERN and Fermilab have found that the measured value of the muon's magnetic moment deviates from the standard model prediction. This discrepancy, known as the muon G2 anomaly, has been a topic of intense interest in the physics community. It suggests that there may be unknown particles or forces affecting the muon's behavior. Cox explained that the muon G2 anomaly could be another hint of new physics beyond the standard model, potentially involving new particles such as supersymmetric particles or dark matter candidates. The muon G2 experiment is ongoing, with more data being collected and analyzed. Cox expressed optimism that the results of this experiment could provide crucial insights into the nature of new physics and help bridge the gap between the standard model and the mysteries of the universe that remain unexplained. 4. The search for dark matter. Dark matter is one of the most enigmatic components of the universe, making up approximately 27% of its total mass energy content. Unlike ordinary matter, dark matter does not interact with light or other forms of electromagnetic radiation, making it invisible and detectable only through its gravitational effects. Despite its pervasive presence, the nature of dark matter remains one of the biggest unsolved problems in physics. CERN has been actively involved in the search for dark matter, using the LHC to look for evidence of dark matter particles. One approach is to search for missing energy in particle collisions, which could indicate the presence of dark matter particles that escape detection. Another approach is to look for anomalies in the behavior of known particles that could be caused by interactions with dark matter. Cox discussed several experiments at CERN that are focused on the search for dark matter, including the ATLAS and CMS detectors. While no direct evidence of dark matter has been found yet, Cox noted that the latest data from these experiments has provided new constraints on the properties of dark matter, narrowing down the range of possible candidates. He also highlighted the importance of complementary approaches to the search for dark matter, including direct detection experiments and astrophysical observations. By combining data from different sources, physicists hope to eventually uncover the nature of dark matter and its role in the universe. 5. The Future of CERN, High Luminosity LHC and Beyond In addition to discussing the latest discoveries, Cox also provided an overview of the future plans for CERN and the LHC. One of the most significant upcoming projects is the High Luminosity LHC, HLLHC, which is set to begin operation in the late 2020s. The HLLHC is an upgrade to the current LHC, designed to increase the luminosity, or the number of collisions, by a factor of 10. This will allow physicists to collect more data and probe even deeper into the fundamental structure of matter. Cox explained that the HLLHC will be crucial for addressing some of the most pressing questions in physics, including the nature of dark matter, the unification of forces, and the origin of the Higgs boson. With its increased luminosity, the HLLHC will be able to produce more rare events and potentially uncover new particles or phenomena that have so far eluded detection. Beyond the HLLHC, CERN is also exploring the possibility of building a next-generation particle collider, such as the Future Circular Collider, FCC. The FCC would be significantly larger than the LHC, with a circumference of up to 100 kilometers, and would be capable of reaching even higher energies. While still in the planning stages, the FCC represents the next frontier in particle physics, with the potential to revolutionize our understanding of the universe. Conclusion The latest discoveries from CERN, as discussed by Brian Cox, represent a thrilling moment in the history of physics. From anomalies in lepton universality to the potential discovery of a fifth force, these findings have the potential to challenge and expand our understanding of the fundamental laws of the universe. 
While many of these discoveries are still in the early stages of analysis, they offer tantalizing hints of new physics beyond the standard model. As CERN continues to push the boundaries of scientific exploration, with projects like the High Luminosity LHC and the Future Circular Collider on the horizon, the future of particle physics looks brighter than ever. The work being done at CERN not only deepens our understanding of the universe but also inspires the next generation of scientists to continue the quest for knowledge. In the words of Brian Cox, we are on the brink of a new era in physics, one that could fundamentally change our understanding of the universe and our place within it. The discoveries being made at CERN are a testament to the power of human curiosity and the relentless pursuit of knowledge. As we continue to explore the unknown, we are reminded that the universe is far more mysterious and wonderful than we could have ever imagined.